back in October, November, the old Backridge Butch was running a comp. Uh, so you get your meat processed by him and you can win a flying trip into the car weekers. And uh, here we are. So on the trip, we're in the Backridge Biv. It's the 1st of March. And um, we just flew in with Criss Cross and he's the man. Flew in over the top and it's primo. We're just gonna head on out for a hunt. It's the 18th. <laughs> we are, aren't we? I'm expecting a lot. We, 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 want, we want hot barrels, don't we? <laughs> oh, we do. Exactly. We do. Yeah. yeah. Well guys, we're, we're back here at Backridge Biv. Awesome evening. Obviously, Andrew here spotted a couple of deer tonight, so it was bloody cool. Um, no big stags yet. Not but, yet. But uh, we're having a couple of ales and um, sort of thinking about the plan of attack for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, really good to see some deer on the hill. Perfect, perfect evening. And um, we'll just see what tomorrow brings and then plan tomorrow's attack, or tomorrow evening, whether we need to go down the ridge and bloody camp somewhere else. Well, good morning, guys. We're sitting down here. It's cold southerly, back ridge, and there's not a lot happening. Just heard a couple of shots over towards Castle Camp, Kiwi Saddle area. So well done, guys. Somebody's got lucky. <laughs> we heard shots up on the main range last night so whoever's up there hopefully you've done well coffee time back at camp <laughs> <laughs> yep and we've got to come up with a plan for where to go tonight because the deer around backridge biv are a little bit elusive so far so we might go to southern backridge this afternoon and fly camp somewhere well guys, as you can see now the weather's kind of starting to turn to custard a little bit. It's just heavy mist at this point, but it kind of wasn't in the forecast, so yeah, I think we'll, um, Dog and I have just had a hunt down in the bush, bloody nice open bush actually, bit of sign, but uh, the wind's whipping around all over the place, so. I think I'll head back to the hut with a lazy few hours and then if this clears, hopefully blows through, then we'll head to Southern Backridge, camp for the night. Try some new ground. All right. All right, tell me the story. So um, we're coming down off the top here and we 
just glanced down, there was a uh, spotted a deer down the bottom of the gully here at 530 yards. So, um, pack off, rifle down, and shot clean over its back. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, and he just bimbled back off into the scrub. So, yeah, bit gussing, but oh, that's the way it goes. Lead in, lead in the air. Yeah, lead in the air. Yeah. What, what did you think, spotter? Oh, look, it was, it was, you know, it was over 500 yards, and it was. 33 degrees downhill, so it was like, whoa. Worth a crack. Unless you got your calculator with you <laughs> yeah. to work out what to do. <laughs> you know. Oh, it's, it's they're tough. here. They're here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was down in the bush, never heard it. <laughs> but it was on the run. It was it was sprinting. It was a Norway. <laughs> Sorry, now the bullshit's coming out. <laughs> it was a I had to shoot from the hip. Right. It's time for a coffee. Roger. <laughs> Right, what's the plan, Red? Me, I'm going to head up the hills and uh, I'm going to take a snack because <laughs> I got a bit peckish last night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. The wounds are starting to bite. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so what are we chasing tonight? <laughs> well, brown it's down almost, but not really. <laughs> mm, I'm thinking we're getting to that point. Yeah. Nah, it's not desperate yet. No. They're not desperate. Yeah. Okay. Just see what pokes his nose out. <laughs> yes. Well, guys, it's just cleared into the most beautiful afternoon. I'm heading south. The team's staying north, and uh, hopefully, we're going to cover lots of ground. And it's just looking the most glorious evening, so fingers crossed something might be poking out. Right. Well, it's now after 11 o'clock. It's really hot. Caught up with these these two. Andrew's seen some more deer this morning. No shots fired, but and he's on fire. We should have left our binos and rifles at home. And just bought Andrew, I think. I think he's enjoyed the country though, so it's really good. His first time in here, so pretty pleased he's seen stuff. Yep, that's pretty much us done and dusted, so back to the bivvy for um, for breakfast, have a clean up, wait for um, Chris to turn up and come get us. Well, g'day guys, on your next trip in, when you're chasing big boneheads, if you um, have a think and a look around the park with your binos, you'll start seeing these bloody contorta starting to pop up, and it's a real problem. And in a few short years, you're not going to have nice open tussock lands to hunt. As an initiative set up by Chris at East Carwicker, he's gone in with Doc, they've supplied a heap of these saws and he's going to give them to every hunter that flies in put them in your day pack and you're out hunting on the hill you see a contorta cut it down 
very simple plan, but a good plan. So we're fully behind it as well. We think it's awesome because you only need to look over on the faces at, say, uh, Castle Camp and you see all the contorta starting to grow and it's not going to be long before that, that's stuffed again. So we want to keep them out of places like Backridge, the Manson, all the good spots that haven't got masses of contorta yet. So again, if you're flying in with Chris, pick up your saw, put in your day pack, whack them down. The park will be a happier place. So guys, that's another cool adventure at one of our favourite spots, the old Backridge Viv. Um, we're just waiting on his car with helicopters to drop and pick us up. And, uh, we'll go home and plan the next adventure. So, bring on the roar. Right. <laughs>